in a realm where the boundaries of reality are only limited by our perceptions, Neville Goddard enlightens us on the art of honing our desires to illuminate a chosen potentiality from the endless expanse of possibilities. The specificity of our aspirations, once articulated, transcends evaluation in terms of scale or intricacy, for the universe, in its boundless generosity, does not differentiate between the grandiose and the trivial, such distinctions are merely constructs of our earthly voyage. Yet, it's an undeniable truth that while ambitious endeavors present themselves as daunting quests for adults, small achievements often carry the effortless joy akin to child's play. The narratives I'm about to unfold, though seemingly modest or even fanciful, epitomize the essence of how simplicity can be the cradle of magnificence. Our journey begins with the tale of Mrs. P.N., a woman adorned with affluence, connections, and a keen intellect, seemingly in one of nothing. Her story of transformation, however, springs from an endeavor as mundane as adorning a hat. Despite her indifference toward headgear, she chose this accessory as her object of focus. She clipped an image of a hat from a magazine, affixing it to her vanity mirror, and with intense gaze. She envisioned herself exuding elegance in that hat, ready for a leisurely promenade. Miraculously, within a week, during a luncheon with friends, she was astonished to see a friend wearing a hat identical to the one on her mirror. The hat received accolades for its style from everyone, including Mrs. P.N. The following day, she was delighted to find a package at her doorstep containing the very hat from her visualization, gifted by her friend who, inexplicably drawn to purchase it, felt it was meant for P.N. This minor yet profound experience served as a revelation to P.N., unlocking the door to a realm of greater achievements, all manifested through the prowess of her imagination. Following P.N.'s experience, we delve into Ms. A.M.'s story, who, since the early days of February, has resided in her newly constructed hilltop home her only companions the seagulls and the vast sea. Anyone who has embarked on the journey of building a home knows the mix of unexpected costs and the fulfillment of seeing one's vision come to life. While A.M. was pondering over the final touches of decor and furniture, her heart was set on a particular painting depicting a white ship dissolving into the tempestuous embrace of the sea, a vision she harbored since the inception of her home. Her husband had prepared the perfect spot for the painting, flanked by nautical lamps, though the curtains were yet to be hung. During a visit to a gallery, A.M. encountered the exact painting she had envisioned. The gallery owner, revealing himself to be the creator, mentioned he was England's foremost maritime artist. As A.M. was lost in envisioning the painting in her home, the steep price tag brought her back to reality. However, the gallery owner mentioned replicas by an American artist so precise that they were often preferred over the originals. That evening, A.M. recounted her gallery visit to her husband, expressing a desire to return for a more affordable alternative. He agreed, albeit reminding her of other priorities. Nonetheless, A.M. indulged her imagination, picturing the painting adorning their wall. The next day, her husband returned from a challenging client meeting with the painting, obtained in exchange for a business compromise. The replica now embellished their home, echoing Mrs. P.N.'s hat story, showcasing once more how imagination bridges the gap between the ethereal and the tangible. The call is universal, come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without cost, Isaiah 55 verse 1. What is it that you yearn to bring forth from the realm of imagination? Not all desires necessitate financial expenditure, what's paramount is the initiation with your splendid human imagination. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, teeming with limitless potentials hidden beneath the facade of the mundane, we encounter the core of Neville Goddard's philosophy. This ideology posits that by articulating our wishes, we spotlight a singular possibility out of an infinite array of future realities. This reveals to us that the scale of our aspirations, 
as perceived by our awareness, isn't evaluated on a spectrum of grandeur or triviality. The cosmos, with its infinite ability to accommodate us, makes no distinction between the grand and the minor, such distinctions are merely human constructs. It's intriguing to observe that adults often perceive the chase for major accomplishments as a grave task, whereas achieving smaller objectives is seen as mere child's play. Nonetheless, the ensuing narratives exemplify how seemingly insignificant or leisurely pursuits can unveil the path to achieving greatness from humble origins. Ms. Pien, in spite of her affluence, connections, and intellect, discovered in a simple hat the key to a profound transformation in her life. This shift not only underscores the potent sway of imagination but also demonstrates how a focus on a modest aspiration can pave the way to far greater achievements. The hat, an item of seemingly negligible value, became the genesis for a sequence of realizations that showcase the capacity of imagination to mold our physical reality. Conversely, Ms. A.M.'s narrative guides us through her fascination with a particular painting. This longing, though minor in the grand scheme of constructing her new dwelling, became a beacon of inspiration and a testament to the ability of imagination to manifest within the corporeal realm. The artwork, initially out of reach due to its hefty price tag, ultimately adorned her home in an unforeseen manner, reinforcing the notion that the cosmos can fulfill our desires in the most unexpected ways. Despite their variances, both tales converge on a unified theme, the potency of imagination in crafting our reality. This concept, a cornerstone of Neville Goddard's teachings, intimates that by directing our consciousness towards a specific wish, irrespective of its magnitude or perceived significance, we can trigger a manifestation process that actualizes that wish in our tangible world. Isaiah's beckoning, come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without cost, echoes this doctrine, serving as a profound allegory for the manifestation process. This call extends beyond merely quenching physical or material thirsts without expense, it implies that the gateway to a more abundant, enriched existence is open to everyone, irrespective of financial standing, through the prowess of imagination. In this light, we are encouraged to introspect on our desires and ponder how we might employ our imagination to actualize what we yearn for in our lives. The pivotal inquiry that emerges is, what do we envision bringing to life from our imaginations? The response not only unveils our innermost yearnings but also propels us to wield our imagination with creativity and intention to realize those yearnings. To sum up, the experiences of Ms. P.N. and Ms. A.M., coupled with Isaiah's summons, underscore the formidable capacity of human imagination as a tool for shaping our existence. By embarking on our journey with our marvelous imagination, with or without financial means, we can initiate the journey toward manifesting our deepest desires, uncovering along the way that the universe is ever prepared to answer our summons, bestowing upon us our needs and wants in often surprising and delightful manners.